What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Electric Productions. I'm Jay, and today we're going to be taking another look at Black Day. Now, Black Day was a title that I had uh, reviewed when it first came out on Steam. It was in early access, and unfortunately my review was not favorable. Uh, the game was extremely buggy, which is fine. Early access bugs are going to happen. But this game was so buggy and had so many issues that it was borderline unplayable, and to drop it on Steam and ask $25 for it in that state, I couldn't give it a recommend. Uh, you know, if they had dropped it for five, ten dollars saying, look, this is like pre-alpha state and we just want feedback, that's what we want, then I could have given it a thumbs up, but at twenty-five dollars, just no way. Since that time, I've noticed there's been a lot of updates to the game and I am not somebody who just wants to sit there and bash somebody's game and then never come back again. And if it's made improvements, that needs to be recognized and noticed. So with all the updates, I thought it might be worthwhile for us to jump back in and take another look at Black Day and see, is it getting closer to that $25 price tag as far as value to the consumer? Um, or are these updates all just superficial and really there's no changes to the core bugs and issues that were prevalent when it first came out? So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look. Now the option menus had been a mess before. I mean, they were just really, really, really bad. Um, I had found them to be almost unnavigatable, not a word, but navigable, innavigable. Anyway, it's much better now. This is much cleaner. This is so much better. Uh, the one thing I don't understand is they still have in here where there's like a repeat of the movement. So you got camera, movement, combat, inventory, HUD, drone, camera, movement, combat, inventory, HUD, drone. So devs, if you're listening or if you decide to watch this, I appreciate you watching and I would say, can we can we cut one of those out? Unless there's a reason that I'm missing here, let's, let's cut one of those, that loop out of here and just have it be the one. Settings are important for this game as there's a lot of different control options. It might just help to make it a little less imposing to a new player. So that's a minor thing. Uh, it'd just be nice to see it get cleaned up. They've changed around the main menu area here, like the intro screen. I like this better. It's a lot cleaner. Again, devs, if you're looking for the nitpicks, let's change around Black Day in the top right-hand corner. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Maybe maybe give it that 3D text look a little bit more. Right now, it looks a little bit kind of off-putting, cheap, chintzy. And I actually like your background images there. So those are really cool. Maybe let's change up or just get rid of the name Black Day in the upper right-hand corner. People know what game they're playing at this point after they've already loaded it up and purchased it and everything. So you got your Lance Corporal there, which what I am. Um, I've got some XP held over. I would actually refunded this game originally. I repurchased it. And uh, if it's as good as the updates say it's going to be, then I'll probably just keep it and continue to do uh, video updates for it as it continues to progress. So let's jump into the sandbox here. So much better right off the bat. I really like this menu system a lot more. It's nowhere near as intimidating as the initial menu that was in the, the really early alpha um, initial release. This is much better. Great job, devs. So you can choose your location. Yes, you need XP to unlock it, and that's fine. I love that. Not No issues there. You can choose night. Enemy's vision is limited, but it's hearing quite sensitive. Great. You can choose your faction. Your faction determines somewhat of the XP that you'll get as the different faction members are more difficult. So we'll, we'll just do rebels for this. And number of tasks. Let's do two tasks, actually. You can go up to five, and uh, you get XP for every task you complete. And I'm going to keep the no destroy. Structure or robot destruction as an objective will be deactivated. I'm going to keep this simple. Gear screen, way cleaner. Good job again. You get some a um, little bit of information on your weapons. They've added a few more weapons to the game. Awesome job, devs. I'm going to stick with the, uh, the M4 here. And let's turn on... Where am I turning these off right now? I think I just turned them off. No, no, they're on. Um... Devs, this screen's a little bit confusing still with the attachments. It might be good to have the attachment appear on the weapon if you click it on. Um, because like right now I can't click this one, so I'm, I would have assumed with it being kind of lit up like this that it was on. But it's still a little bit confusing and they don't always work when you click them exactly the way it seems like they should. So I don't really know what to make of that. Um, I'll leave that up to you guys. We've got our backup weapons. And one other thing, Dev, if you click all the way through those secondary weapons, it clears your initial weapons. So I'm sure that's just an oversight, but it might be worth it to uh, make it where people can click all the way through the support and handgun weapons without it clearing uh, your loadout that you have set up so far. So. Okay, um, I'm going to lower the magazines here. Let's just take in 10 mags for the handgun. Let's take 10 get mags for the primary there, our HK4. 
And uh, let's just take five mags for the support weapon. The drones, I'm terrified to try as they were so broken before, but we'll, we'll give those a shot again. And materials, I'm going to really lower my weight here for materials. And then we can switch over to difficulty. So let's see what happens. Uh, for those of you who didn't watch my first video, you can choose the enemy sensor, how good they are at spotting you, their skill level, how adept they are at killing you, their spawn level, and then you can choose to spawn in special enemies. All of this will boost how much XP you're getting. I like that feature, I really do. Player health, I'm going to stick with medium. First person only, uh, so I can't go third person, and as such, I can't, um, I can't use cover. So I'm fine with that. Weighted gear, so let's see. So, restrictions none. So because I've taken in less weight than I did the last time I played, um, I don't have any restrictions at all. So, awesome. We're going to stick with weighted gear because that gives me a nice bonus XP. No 3D spot, which means I can't highlight the enemies in like that Far Cry style. I'm fine with that. No vision HUD, deactivate HUD detection alert. So I won't know if somebody spots me and where they're coming from. I like it. Realistic sniper, uh, you can stay totally still while, you cannot stay totally still while aiming. And they're talking about your reticle. Your reticle's going to move. Realistic hits, every hit you take will stun you for a short time. Let's do it. No fake zoom, no crosshair, and realistic mags. Replacing ammunition number by the gun magazine weighted on the HUD. Love it. Let's do it. Let's jump in. So as I said in my first video, I love the concept of this game. I do. I actually really enjoy the, the sandbox style and um, earning XP by making it more difficult on yourself. I really like all of that. Um, I said they had a great concept, poor implementation. Oh, and now you can actually choose an insertion zone too. Very cool. Um, I'm gonna choose here because that's sort of the middle of the map. So I feel like I'm gonna be closer. Ooh, okay, I got some pretty bad frame rate drop there when I first move in. Let's see if that clears up a little bit. I do have everything set to ultra right now. Okay, so we've got two here, two missions. We've got Thief, The Spoils of War, and Sabotage the Radio. So let's do this. Um, I'm going to have to re-familiarize myself with the controls a little bit here. So here's the drone. Okay, the drone still appears to be broken. I'll tell you what, let's, um, let's get out of the drone here really quick and let me look here so forward drone is Z uh, okay well there's part of the problem right there I don't know why it would be default set to that okay so <laughs> well I have to apologize more than likely the first time I made the video I said the drone wouldn't move forward and it probably was set to this the Z S D Q so that's a little weird let's do the drone again Okay, it said Z is drone forward, but it, what it does is, is it spawns a new drone when I do that. <clears throat> um, so I'm still having some issues with the drones. I like the idea of the drones. Maybe it's something on my end. I don't know. It just seems like something's wrong there. Because according to this, forward drone is Z, backward drone is S, D, and Q. Uh, let me try one thing. D and Q... And so, you know what, I think we would need to set the drone up differently. So one of the things I said in the initial video is, you gotta go in and you, whoa, that guy just dropped out of thin air though. And I'm not really okay with that. Um, the AI there just sort of just dropped in out of nowhere. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm getting over a cold. I am. Okay. The attachments are still a little bit wonky. How they work and if they work. Um, these guys have already spotted me. I got the laser on. Okay. Let's get out of the inventory here. Um, I'm, I'm still... I'm not crazy about when I zoom in on the scope. <clears throat> Everything looks more granulated when I... It, it, it just looks more grainy when I zoom in, and it's better than it was before, at least. It, it definitely appears to be better, and it doesn't feel quite as jittery when I zoom in on the scope, so good job, devs. They're working on this stuff. That is evident. Uh, let me change up. Somebody's firing at me. 
Whoa. Where are they at? Now I understand I brought this on myself because I've turned off the ability to see. There he is. Got him. Okay. Um, let's do one more here. So the fire mode is full auto. Let's reload. Got to be careful, though, because as we reload, that takes one of our magazines away. And I like that. I do. That's totally fine with me, having more realistic um, ammunition management. So we're going to move along here. So the movement still feels a little bit janky. But with that being said, it feels better than it did before. Now here's my one question. Have they fixed the scope? They have not. Okay. Devs, this is the biggest complaint I had the first time around, and it still is the biggest. You guys have already made improvements. I can already tell that. Excellent job. So when you're testing your game, go ahead and right-click a bunch of times with the scope being drawn up. And then when you try to lift the scope up to your eye, it automatically... Listen for my clicks here. Oh, now it fixed itself. So it resets fairly quickly. But it's still, it still is broken in that I'm holding the right button right now and it's not zooming in. And I'm holding the right button now and it's not zooming in. There's something going on with the, with the scope, and I don't know what it is. I will say that zooming is a lot easier now as far as aiming once you're zoomed in. And that's awesome, and I'm very grateful for that. <clears throat> I'm already noticing a huge improvement over the last time I played. And I know everybody's going to say, yeah, well, it's early access. That's what it's supposed to be. But before you sit there and crucify me for this, I just want to point something out. How many early access games come out these days that are in a broken state and never get touched again? I mean, you know what do they say? Like, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, I won't get fooled again. I don't know. I forget what George W. said, his little take on the whole uh, fool me once thing. But, so we unlock the Desert Eagle. That's awesome. Let's make our way to the next uh, objective marker. But all I'm saying is, is that when somebody drops a game for $25 and says, oh, it's going to get better, I'm dubious. You know, like five years ago, I'd be like, oh, yeah, sure, why not? I believe you. But these days, no, I don't. I don't believe you. I don't believe you till I start to see those wonderful, beautiful updates start coming out. And these guys are doing it. There's updates coming out. Good job, guys. <clears throat> Again, I am so sorry. I have been sick for like three or four days, and I'm still still getting over it. I was nothing but frustrated when I was playing before, and I can honestly say now... Oh, man, that's a bad frame drop there. Whoa, what just happened? Let me, uh... Nope, didn't really want to do the drone. No, I don't want the drone. No, I don't want the drone. No, I don't want the drone. No one then. We got another guy. Okay. Can I reload? There we go. Yeah, it seems like sometimes the buttons just don't want to respond. Um, it's really weird. Oh, man, that drone's killing me. I've got to remap that sucker. Let's stand up so we can sprint again. Yeah, I was saying before, um, when I played this the first time, I was not having fun at all. You know, uh, and I am now. Devs, again, if you're listening to this, could we could we maybe add like a lean feature in, like with uh, Q and E equaling lean left and lean right? And I only say that because you're going for a realistic game here, and it seems like you're doing a, a ooh hello. It seems like you're doing a pretty good job. Like oh, there it's it's doing it again. You can see what my I'm trying to right click the mouse to zoom, and I'm holding it in, and it's doing that right there. <coughs> We've got to fix that bug. Now it's back to normal again. Please, please fix that bug. I, I know that I'm sure it's it's more difficult than I understand. It's doing it again, and it's going to get me killed. I had to hip fire to kill those guys. Um, that bug's got to be fixed, devs. It's bad. I, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be a jerk here. It's just it's got to be fixed. Um, when you're in a firefight, you got to be able to, to aim down your sight, down your scope in this case. 
but yeah, no, I'm enjoying this way more. I don't know if they cleaned up the bloom a little bit. The game does not look as blurry as it did before, and I'm very grateful for that as well. Um, I'd say, as far as improvement, I'm seeing an overall 25% improvement on the initial gameplay, which is good. I mean, it hasn't been that long. Whoa, that guy just fired a rocket. I don't even see him. I just saw the rocket. I know I'm... There he is. I think I see him. He's behind that. Oh, snap. That dude just shot, like, right next to me. I think we got him. We're just going to plow on ahead. <clears throat> uh, no, but seriously, I'm, I'm impressed. I really am, and I apologize. I am sorry that uh, I didn't think you guys were going to make any changes. I'm going to keep being as skeptical as I was with this game, with other new games that comes out. I'm just going to. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I apologize. This is way better. If you guys keep this up, you could have a really awesome game on your hands. It's worth 25. However, dot, 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 and I'm sorry for this, but I still don't think this is worth $25 to the average Steam user. And here's why. Because most Steam users view early access as a demo slash just early access. They don't view it as they're a beta tester or an alpha tester in this case. Uh, they simply view it as, oh, I get early access to the game, um, it's a demo, blah, blah, blah. So to the average Steam user, I'd say, no, this is still not worth $25. Uh, this is worth, I'd say $10 at this state. Initially, I said 5 With the improvements you've made, I'd say 10 Devs, if I could offer a suggestion to you, um, I would say, what if you lowered the price while it's in this alpha state? When it gets to beta state, I'd say $10 now. If you want to be really nice, I'd say $8 in the alpha. When you get to beta, when it gets to a beta stage, $15. And then when you do the full release, do your $25. Um, I know that probably seems very presumptuous of me, and I'm sorry for that. I really am. Uh, but I'm, I'm being honest here, and I'm, I'm trying to be just... I'm trying to actually help you out as far as what I think people are going to jump on more. If you're seeing the number of sales that you want right now, absolutely. And if it makes you feel any better, I'm going to keep this now. I refunded it before. I really like the direction you're going in, and I'm excited to see what you're going to continue to do. And I'm going to keep it at this point. So um, my money's precious to me, and I work hard for it. And the fact that I'm going to keep it should be a big thumbs up. Um, but uh, I would say at this point, maybe think about lowering it a little bit um, for for new adopters to the game until it gets just a little bit more stable. And I'd say at this point, the big things are um, the scope. The scope's got to change. I noticed the AI dropped right into the battle. Um, it, it just like literally dropped out of the sky. Um, I think that we could clean up the scope a little bit as far as when you're looking through it, making it a sharper, more enhanced image. Um, Movement still feels a little bit janky. It feels a little rough. I know you're going for a more realistic feel, and you don't want that, you know, kind of like everything's just coated in oil and you're just gliding over it, and I respect that, but it still feels a little a little too rough. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like you've got a lot, of, a lot of good ideas that you're implementing as quickly as you can, and bravo. Again, I apologize for... Thinking the worst, I'm going to keep thinking the worst when it comes to games in general, just because I've been burned way too many times. But good for you guys. Thank you so much for proving me wrong here. Please continue to keep prove me wrong here. I want to see this game get better and better. I love the concept, and uh, I hope this game continues to make it to alpha, from alpha to beta to full release. And when it drops in full release, it's it's you know cleaned all the way up. That'd be awesome. What a what a great tale of success when there's so many failures today on Steam. So that's going to pretty much do it for me, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this review, by all means, let me know in the comment section below. If there's something you think I could do better, let me know that as well. I'm always open to constructive criticism. I, I really need it. This channel's pretty much in its infancy still, and I really want to make better and better content for you, the viewers. So I appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of Electric Productions. Game on, everyone.